And we turn to John. And it's so nice to be able to talk about one of New Orleans' most beloved living artists. Living artists, that's right. <laughs> well, Roland Golden, he's, he's, as you mentioned, he's one of the city's uh, preeminent artists. He's been working for over almost 60 years now, and finally got the recognition he's due from the city's major art institutions. Um, opened last week at the Ogden Museum of Southern Art was a show called Roland Golden, An Alternate Vision. And there's another show as well. There's huh? another show uptown at the Garden District Gallery. It's, it's kind of, a, it's related to it, but it's a little different work. And the one of the Ogden is, it's, it's not a retrospective, but it's, it's, it's quite different. In fact, we have a little little segment we want yes, to show but, you and first. You know, before John, though, does I have a chance to reflect right. on Golden's two shows. Mm -hmm. Thanks to WWL, we have a feature on Golden in conjunction with Golden's Ogden Museum opening. And now let's hear from Eric Paulson. The 70 or so paintings and drawings featured here reflect the vision of a New Orleans native whose work is collected and admired around the world. He's a realist painter, but in this show, it's the subtle and not-so-subtle touches of the abstract that draw your eye. Golden's been painting for nearly 60 years, but says his style and technique haven't changed all that much from 1967 when Channel 4's Bill Elder interviewed him in his French Quarter studio. Well, my work is all very carefully planned. There's very little spontaneity about it. Anyone that knows anything about painting can look at it and tell that. I do a lot of sketching, but the camera has become an important tool to me, and I think to many other artists also. Then I'll do a quite detailed value drawing in pencil of the composition prior to the painting. And the painting actually comes from these little drawings that I do. Some of those drawings are even on display in this show, as well as the paintings that grew out of them years later. These depict New Orleans scenes. And while Golden's work is much more than that, he says the French Quarter and the South have been major influences. You were in the middle of old buildings, and I've always loved old buildings, you know. And uh, so I, first of all, was drawing French Quarter buildings and stuff like that, and gradually I would get, a, get my dad's car and go out into the country and, and Falls River and places like that and uh, do scenes of other subjects. So, uh, but it was still the South. Those early years in the quarter are also the focus of his new memoir, Life, Love, and Art in the French Quarter. It's a great personal history of the quarter in the 50s and 60s, when it was a haven for bohemians, artists, writers, and just like today, characters. And it covers about the first 20 years of my career. It, it talks primarily about some of the trials and tribulations and things you go through as an artist. The book begins with a chapter focusing on two important years Roland studied at the well-known John McCready Art School on Bourbon Street. I, I was talented, and I mean, I could draw and things like that, but I learned particularly about composition, and because John was a real stickler for that kind of thing. Golden soon opened a gallery of his own on Royal, which is about the time Channel 4 profiled him for a series of stories about his work and artistic style. Your paintings reflect a great deal of realism, uh... Uh, quite frankly, the pictures that people can look at and, and admire. Do you feel any reason to defend this type of art? Well, I don't think, uh, I don't think it needs to be defended, actually. But uh, a lot of people do criticize realism today. Uh, I don't see uh, where realism should be any less creative than any other form. You know, I evolved uh, into who I am over just working, working every day, working and I mean I worked worked so hard for so long and I still work hard whenever I can. And thanks so much to WWL producer Dominic Massa mm -hmm. for this wonderful feature. And pleased to begin. Okay, well, just give you a little background. He's born in New Orleans in 1932, grew up in the city as well as in the Mississippi Delta. And as a result, his family traveled all over Mississippi, his father's work. But he has a, tr he has a tremendous affinity for the South in, in, in the history, the culture, the people, the landscape. And if you followed, you know, if anyone's familiar with his career over the years, you see that, that that southern landscape sort of goes all through his work. Starts with the, uh, the wonderful highway scenes he's done, as well as paintings of the Delta. 
But what's really interesting, and he also did the Civil War series, pretty dramatic paintings of the Civil War battlefields, not just what he saw, but uh, statues of soldiers dripping blood sort of thing to actually make a statement, because he did this during the Vietnam War, and he was making his anti-war statement, Vietnam statement, through the Civil War. And uh, he did a number of paintings like this. But, but what's really wonderful about his work is that you know, true, he's a landscape painter. He reacts to the landscape, not only emotionally, and the cultural implications of the landscape, but intellectually, too, because he uses certain devices, like you saw this, the, uh, like this one, in fact, the uh, Chinese checkerboard. He used dominoes. He used other type checkerboards. And he used things that are totally unrelated and juxtapose them uh, against, well, in this case, you see the um, domino board in a cotton field in the distance. Hmm. Visually similar, but totally different eyed objects. He juxtaposed them to, to, to get a reaction. And he, he calls it abstract realism in his, in his work, yeah. This is a this is a French landscape with the uh, with um, gardenias floating in the moat, and the southern landscape is a, it's really a strong artist. Now, the 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 show at the Ogden now is not really a true retrospective. What they were what the curators were trying to do here was to show the surrealism in his work, how he uses surrealism in his paintings to create a whole different plane um, to, to transcend the literal into something more intellectual. And, so, and this is another great series he did back in the 1970s when they were demolishing a number of the historic buildings in the Central Business District. This is the shadow of the claw coming down mm. to pick up another historic landmark in the building. The whole series of this, in fact, didn't quite endear himself to the politicians in the city <laughs> or to the, or the developers. And this show is uh, running through September the 21st. And I really recommend seeing it. As I say, it's not a true retrospective from the beginning of his career to the present. But it covers a good bit of that time. There's another show that's a little different at the Garden District Gallery. It's called uh, The Artistry of Roland Golden. And it shows more of his, his contemporary work, his most recent work, especially the Mississippi River series. He did a big series of paintings, the Katrina paintings, that showed at the New Orleans Museum of Art in 2007. They moved to Nashville for a short time. He did a whole series of paintings on the Mississippi River. This is the Jewish section of the uh, cemetery in Natchez, Natchez, Mississippi, overlooking the river. Yeah. And he told me he actually turned the tombstones around so he could actually, you know, you could actually see the names <laughs> on the tombstones. But this is a very strong show there, and it shows his contemporary work there. And I recommend seeing both of them. One complements the other. All right. Thank you so much.